What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today we are starting our journey of packing up all of these pops because we're moving into a new house. Yikes, let's check it out. All right guys, so I don't know if you've noticed over the last year that I've lived in this house since I moved out from my family's home, I've actually gained a lot of different Funko Pops. Like, there is so many since I originally moved out. So I will say it's definitely gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna be using a lot more boxes this time. I think last time I used about four boxes for all my pops, maybe five, something like that. So I feel like I'm probably gonna have to use 10 because I think I have about maybe double my collection than last time. Maybe not double, but maybe like 200 more. So in this part one, we're probably going to be focusing on putting all the pops back in their boxes, cleaning up the office a little bit, and basically packing up a couple boxes maybe. But just to give you an inside look, usually my area is kind of messy as you guys can see. So we're gonna be cleaning up all of this. Like there's pops over here, pops down there. Definitely, definitely an overstock, I will say. I gotta like sort these a lot more and probably get rid of some after we move. But again, like I said, it's usually, it's usually kind of messy. You guys want to see the office, but usually it's just kind of a mess. Like most of the time I do like to try to keep it clean, but usually after doing a million videos through the week, it just gets messy and things get thrown everywhere. Again though, I think we're gonna start on this shelf right here and putting all the pops back in their boxes. So I put a couple back in their boxes and I didn't realize how dusty this shelf is, good Lord. I haven't cleaned it in a while, I guess. So we actually have this one, but the box is all the way buried behind those boxes. This is why I'm actually kind of glad that we're getting more space in another house because then I don't have to deal with this and I can actually display more. Cause like taking this down, I don't know, has anybody noticed by the way, this box is so flimsy compared to other like six inch style boxes. Oh, I hope he doesn't fall, don't fall. And then Kuruma. And then there is the box right there. So I gotta dig that out. All right guys, so progress update. I did all the six inch pops over here. I did this shelf. I realized I forgot I actually had an extra out of box uh, Doc Ock. And then I'm almost like halfway done with this shelf. And then we just gotta move on to the rest of these. Now, something I forgot to mention is that I will actually still be here for another like 10 to 15 days, something like that. Anyways, I will still be here for a few days. So I actually need a recording background. So. We're not gonna pack these today. We're probably going to pack some of the My Hero Academia, the Tokyo Ghoul, just basically these pops on this shelf just because you guys don't really see that anyway. So as long as I have a, a background to actually record with. And one shelf is now finished. It is like the rest of them now. I hate how boxy it looks. It looks so much cooler out of box. I get what people say about the whole out of box thing now because like going back to inbox from out of box and like loving the display, I see what you guys mean now. I'm still not taking them all out, but I see what you mean. If you guys were wondering, I took down all the many figures that I have from various different animes and just put them in this box. So I was finishing up all the six inch pops and then I did the moments and I realized I put this in backwards somehow. I, I really don't know how I did that. We're just gonna leave it like that though. I don't have the patience to take it out and change it again. All right guys, so I decided to put all the six inch in like moment pops away in both these boxes. This has been a challenge to Jenga these things because this box is an awkward shape for six inch pop. So we have like one random pop here, a two pack, Hikari two pack down there. We, and then we have my comet covers over there. So it's a little weird, but I'm gonna stuff like bubble wrap in the places where it's a little empty so it doesn't move around too much. But I, I really don't feel like rearranging it again. I'm not gonna lie. Usually I'm pretty good at this stuff, but these six inch pops are really hard. There are so many pops in my collection that I forget I even have, like this Ice Cube with Impala. I got this one from my mom like three years ago. I forgot it was even up there. And then also the die cast ones I keep forgetting about. Oh, also I had a lot more six inch and like pop moments than I even realized I had. Kind of crazy. So pit stopping in Bailey's room here. As you can see, she's a little bit more further along than I am and she is currently wrapping up her bags. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> so, but yeah, she's packed probably like three or four boxes of pops. I'm on two currently, but we're getting there. So guys, we've officially done two boxes now. This one has a lot of the six inch pops on the bottom. It also has my Luffy and Going Merry on there and I bubble wrapped it even just to be safe, but I might put this box in the back of my car. I'm not gonna lie. And then we have our other box full of like six inch pops and like miscellaneous stuff. And as you can see, we've cleared off most of the top actually. Kind of looks nice for once. It's actually not cluttered and disorganized, but yeah, still gotta figure out those and then we'll probably tackle this shelf next. So I'm kind of mad because this box is not long enough to actually fit three pops like that. 
So I'm actually just going to put one in there because it just looks awkward sitting there and I feel like it's wasting a lot of space of like regular four inch pops we could put. And then we're just gonna fill this up with other four inch, like My Hero Academia, for example. I will say I definitely did not miss this. This is so stressful packing all these pops. So we have this really weird gap that I don't really know how to fill. So I guess I'm gonna put some like paper there so this doesn't shift too much, but these are kind of tightly packed. I do have the U2s figures in here. And then under that is Tokyo Ghoul and some other like random pops. I just have like a lot of like missing miscellaneous or like standalone pops sometimes like swamp fire so I just put those in here I wanted to try to keep avatar all together if possible and then next we're kind of just making our way down because just with the top shelves and all of these I've already done three boxes so I feel like we're gonna cap out at 10 maybe because there are pops behind these pops Okay guys, so I found out that 60 pops fit in these boxes, which is actually not too bad. I know if I bought some bigger ones at like, I think they were Lowe's or Home Depot, you can fit like 72, but for $2, 60 pops, I think that's pretty fair. So after I buy these fake Funko Pops for my real versus fake videos, I never know what to do with them. So I have like 10 different pops, whether it's My Hero Academia, Bleach, um, there's some Dragon Ball Z ones, and maybe a Marvel one or something like that. Anyways, I just have a bunch of fake pops, so would you guys like to maybe see a video where I kind of like destroy them all, or maybe give them away to somebody? I really don't know what to do with them. Comment down below what I should do with them. So I cleared off these two top shelves, and then I started clearing off the bottom ones. I forgot I was doing My Hero Academia next. I think I'm getting tired. I don't... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to make more boxes now because I filled it up with the miscellaneous ones. So something I'm thinking about with the My Hero Academia set, I'm also sitting on the ground here, but something I'm thinking about with this set is that I kind of want to get rid of most of them. I'm not fully sure about that decision yet, but I've been thinking about it for a while. There's just not a lot of characters I care about. Like, I was going to complete the set for like a full complete set video like I did with the Naruto one uh, like two months ago now, but... They just keep making my hair academia pops and it's financially it's just like not it like I'm not feeling it and then like it's just so much to store in the meantime and like I like doing the complete set videos because they're fun but maybe for smaller sets my hero I feel like is just too far gone. I don't know if anybody else feels like that but they've made so many pops and so many characters that are just kind of like why so yeah like I, I have so much of the my hero I might just store it or I might sell it. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm leaning more towards like the storing side if just in case on the off chance that I want to pick up the set again, but I don't know. But I figured I'd let you guys know there. Now I'm going to pack up some of it. So surprisingly enough, I had less My Hero Academia pops than I thought, and I was able to fit them all in one box, so very, very happy with that. And we almost have one shelf cleared off. I actually put these here if you're wondering for the thumbnail. I forgot to make it, so just ignore all that. None of them obviously match. So quick box update. We do have one, two, three, four, five and then we still have all these. So maybe we could make that 10 box mark, but I don't know, it might be closer to 11 or 12 though. All right guys, so I think to finish off this video, we're gonna finish taking all the pops from the top shelves here like these. We'll probably save the rest of like the anime ones for the next part, and then all the ones on the bottom as well. We did fill up this box with all of my like minis and like out of box pop that I had all around the office. And yeah, I think that might do it. So I guess I'll update you guys in a second here when I'm done. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but Green Arrow is actually one of my favorite DC superheroes. And I do have the entire Arrow set, some of them even signed. And I also do have this little Green Arrow um, Dorbs two packs that I bought at a comic shop. And then over here, I wanted to show off these. I have half of the Death Note set. I still need L with cake as well as the light there, but those are a little bit more expensive. But I do have two of the four, and then I also do have some of the Batman anime series pops. Fun fact, this was actually my first Funko Pop ever. Now, something I was noticing is I do have a couple different, um, like, Spider-Man pops all throughout. Well, those aren't Spider-Man, but there's some Spider-Man over there. I kind of want to keep all the Spider-Man together in one box if possible, so I'm just going to hold off on those entirely, which we were anyways because of the background for the videos, but... I'm looking back here and it does look like we have a, a good amount of miscellaneous that, oops. Uh, but anyways, we do have a good amount of miscellaneous that would go in there, so that's pretty cool. So as I did say, like I was mentioning earlier, like this is a fake pop, this is a fake pop, these are fake Beerus's, Future Trunks is fake, that Dobby is fake, so a lot of fake pops from videos that I just don't know what to do with. So again, let me know what you guys think I should do with them. Also, if you notice down here, I do actually have some empty Maximus boxes in Deathstroke. This is because I gave my brother some pops randomly and then they wanted them out of box, so I just kept the boxes for some reason. I don't know. I haven't seen these in a while, but my three custom Funko Pops. This one I actually made at Funko HQ in Everett. 
a lot of glare there, but yes, I did make that one. And then these two were actually made by uh, Captain Pops, and he had a custom artist. He paid a custom artist to actually make these, which was really cool there. It does have, oh no, this one doesn't have my logo on the shirt. And this, oh, this one doesn't either, actually. Oh, none of them, though. It's just the box, actually. Anyways, though, this is the newest one, and I do like how these turned out, to be honest. Like, I think it's pretty cool to have your own custom pop. Some more of my collection here. We do have a Christian Bale signed Batman, probably one of my favorite pieces ever. We do have this Hikari figure. I only have one Hikari, and it is the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I just thought it was so cool, and it was like 40 bucks, so I picked it up. And then there's some, like, Attack on Titan down there that'll probably be thrown in a different box. But yeah, guys, for the most part, I think this box is done. I'm gonna put some bubble wrap on top and pack it up. Well, guys, that's everything for part one here. We definitely got a lot done. We basically cleared off the top. We cleared off the entire shelf and all of the bottom rows and the other top rows of the other top shelves. So I feel like I feel like we did some good work in this first part. I'm not really sure if I'll finish this tonight, maybe leading into tomorrow because we still have other things to pack up in the house as well as I got to pack up the rest of my office. But yeah, I feel like I feel like we got a lot done in this first part. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see part two the next day and if you want to see it ASAP, drop a like down below and comment down below. I, I don't know whatever you were going to say. I, I don't know what I, where I was going with that. Anyways, though, again, thank you so much for watching. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys absolutely rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And we have roughly 200 members, almost, that you can meet. And they're great people. And you can make friends. If you don't have any friends, you want friends, join the Discord, I guess. And make sure to also join my Facebook group. We have over 15,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.